In this video, we're going to look at a couple examples for writing the equation of a, of a line that is either parallel or perpendicular to the line that's given. So in this case, it's perpendicular. And so we know the slopes are going to be opposite and reciprocal of each other. Okay, so first of all, we've got to find the slope of the line given. So I'm going to add 2x to both sides. So I get y equals 2x plus 3. All right, so we know the slope is 2 or 2 over 1. And it's positive, right? So if it, if it asks for a parallel line, we'd use 2 as our slope. But perpendicular is going to be opposite and reciprocal. So opposite sign of positive is negative, And reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2. So now we know our slope is going to be negative 1 half. They happen to give us all the equations in slope-intercept form. So we can see here's our negative 1 half slope. And we submit our answer. In this example, it gives us, write the equation of a line that's perpendicular to the line x equals 0. Well, x equals 0 is a vertical line. It happens to be the y-axis. Okay, So all we need to get a perpendicular means we need a horizontal line. And we know the equation for a horizontal line is going to be y equals. So in this example, it's going to be y equals negative 1. All right, write the equation of a line that is parallel to y equals 1 fifth x minus 1. So again, these problems, you got to think, is it parallel or perpendicular each time? Parallel, same slope. Perpendicular, opposite, and reciprocal. So in this example, we are using the same slope. This is parallel. So 1 fifth is our slope. So now what we have to do is that little work here is we've got to convert these to slope-intercept form to see which one has a positive 1 fifth slope. Um, so this one would be what y equals negative 5x plus 3. Eh, that's no good. That would be perpendicular. Okay, they're trying to trick you. This one in the right, we go what? We get 5y equals negative x plus 10 divided by 5. So y would equal negative 1 fifth x and plus 2. Close, but it's a negative slope. That's no good. This one here, we'd add x to both sides. So you get 5y equals x minus 20. Then we divide by 5. So we're going to get y equals 1 fifth x uh, minus 4. There you go. That's our winner right there. And if you did the other one, you're going to end up getting a, let's see, negative y equals negative 5x minus 3. So it's going to be y equals 5x plus 3 when you multiply both sides by negative 1. So our answer is the bottom left one. All right, one more example. Write the equation of a line which is perpendicular to, perpendicular to line y equals negative 4x plus 5. All right, so our slope is given here is negative 4. So we want the opposite reciprocal of that. So negative 4 over 1 is the slope given here. So opposite sign is positive. The reciprocal is going to be 1 over 4. So now we're looking for a slope that's positive 1 fourth. Um, so we, again, down here it gives all standard forms. So we got to rewrite these. Uh, 4y minus x minus 32 divided by 4, I'm going to get y equals negative 1 fourth x minus 8. problem with that one is negative 1 fourth, so if we want positive 1 fourth. All right, this next one, if I add 4x to both sides, even when I divide by negative 1, I'm going to still have a 4 or, ne or negative 4. That's not going to work. Same thing with the bottom left. That's not going to work. Let's look at the bottom right. Um, add x to both sides, so I have 4y equals x plus 4. I divide both sides by 4. y equals x over 4, also known as 1 fourth x, and then plus 1. There we go. Um, we have a slope that is opposite reciprocal, so it's the positive 1 fourth. And this is going to be our answer. Let's double check and make sure we get it the green check mark. 
And there you go.